Hello, today I'm going to show you how to factory reset Ubuntu 16.4. It also works on Ubuntu 16.10, soon on Ubuntu 17.4, and on Linux Mint 18 and 18.1. So let's start. First of all, we have to download the IS, the day package, not ISO. If you don't like my accent or the way I speak, it's really okay. In the description you will find another video of mine with the same idea, same process, just with background music. So let's open up the terminal and with Ctrl Alt and T and install DDP. But first we need to update our computer. So let's do apt update. I installed GitDB because it's just a nice, simple program to install the packages. If you know how to install it via the terminal or got the other app already installed, just use it. If you don't, just follow my directions. So let's update the computer to do a pt test upgrade stop nothing so let's say sudo apt install ptb here we go you will find all these commands that I use in the description of the win of the, of the video, press enter, and there we go. So now, I'm going to fast forward the video just for now. Right, so let's go now to our package which we just downloaded a few minutes ago and say install of TDP. And say install the password. Please know that this great program is still in beta version, so if you find bugs along the way, hey, it's a beta version. It will soon be stable and that will be awesome. And if there's already a stable version or a new version out there and you look at this, just, just enjoy it. And if you have any bugs, just write it to the car. But you can fix it and at least know about it because it's awesome and very quick to respond. Alright, so let's continue and say resetter. There we go. Let's stop and pause it. And say automatic reset. Please read if you have any important documents. Either don't do this or make a backup because you will lose every single thing. Just not a good. And make sure everything is clicked. Say OK. And I'm going to fast forward this process it takes. I tried to get before it takes about 5 minutes, even less, on my system, depending on your system and how many things you got and installed and stuff like that. Wonderful! And one of the bugs I found in the previous times because I tried to make this video earlier, there's a question mark 
at the end. So just remember it. I checked with the creator and he let me know. So let's reboot it and see if it worked. Wonderful. So let's try it out. New line free with and there we go. So let's see if it's truly factory reset. And wonderful, total reset. Thank you for watching and goodbye.